Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I know it is a few days into the new year already, but I just wanted to make sure I came on camera to tell each and every one of you watching Happy New Year and I wish you all the best in 2019. Today I'll be doing my very first haul on my channel and I'm super excited because I got lots of goodies. A couple days ago I went to Target because I did need to pick up some things that I was running out of so I needed to stock up on them and then of course being there, walking around, seeing what they had, I just had to pick up a few more things and then I also had an Ulta gift card so you know I went a little cray. So here are my two bags, I have my Target bag and my, oh, hit my face, and my Ulta bag. I'll begin with Target. First of all, let's see. <laughs> toothbrushes I it's that time that I need to switch out my toothbrush so I like getting this one from Oral-B the one that has like the rubber around the sides and also on the back next I also stocked up on this it's the clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment I used to use it in the morning and at night in the morning um, before I put on my moisturizer and makeup and then at night before I went to bed. I did stop using it for a while but I went and picked it up again because my face has definitely noticed a difference without me using it so I need it back in my life. Then I also need to pick up my eye makeup remover because I absolutely have like none left like it probably only lasts me for one more night so I need to stock up and this is the Target brand um, it's the exact same thing as the Neutrogena eye makeup remover but this one is a few dollars cheaper so you know as it accumulates those few dollars does make a difference and I always get the bundle pack like these that come in too because it just saves you more money and I'm all about that and then I also needed to stock up on my e.l.f. felt tip liner this I have been using for my wings since I can remember I cannot live without it and it does last me a long time but it was just time that I did restock on it so and of course deodorant I won't be stinking and my deodorant is about to run out too and I always get this twin pack also I always get the Dove and it doesn't matter the scent I do like to switch it up this time around I got carrying coconut and it smells really good and anything Dove like any of the white Dove deodorants are my favorite I also went ahead and picked up body wash because I am running out of mine. I have just a little bit left. So I don't have a preference on body wash. It just depends on my mood. Um, this time around, I just felt like getting this one from Caress. And it's the Tahitian Renewal. And it's um, with pomegranate seeds and coconut milk. So, yeah. This thing, oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to shower in this. And last thing I need to stock up on was concealer. The concealer I usually use is the Revlon Color Stay, but um, I saw this one from CoverGirl, the CoverGirl um, Clean Matte Concealer, and I have used it before, and then I saw that it was on clearance, so I was like, I'll get this instead. I mean, it does work. It's a little bit um, lighter, like lightweight than the Revlon, but it still works. Um, I still like it. I have used it before, so I picked that up. And then I went on to get things that I don't necessarily need, but I want. <laughs> I did need a black nail polish, so I guess you can't say I need that. The black that I was, that I used last time, like last week, uh, I didn't realize that it was already like drying up on me. And that's not going to last me very long anyway. So I got my black nail polish from Sinful Colors. That one works just fine for me. And I also needed like a nude one. This looks white here, but it is a nude from Essie. And it was also on sale for $4.48. So I always like to pick up nail polishes when they're on clearance because, especially when they're like these brands like Essie or like OPI or like other stuff like Orly. I have some Orly, I think. Um, usually they're pricey and I wouldn't get them at the original price. But when I see them on clearance, I am picking them up if I like the color, if I feel like I don't have anything similar to it and I have an obsession. And yeah, these are the other ones that I picked up all on clearance. One is from Sinful Colors. I got on clearance for $138. And I think this is like a really pretty color. I don't have anything like this. I used to in the past, but I ran out of it. I think it's a really pretty color for like spring, maybe transitioning from winter to spring or even summer. It's a really pretty color. Then I got these two from Orly. Again, on clearance, they were both $398. So like a teal color. 
and it's really pretty dark blue color and it has like really pretty shimmer in it I was like wow I don't have anything like this and I needed it <laughs> I needed it two more things from Target I got this NYX lingerie matte eye tint I've never tried it out before but I did want to try it out again clearance I'm always on the hunt for clearance so for $4.88 I got this and I think um, this one's bad to the bone the eye tint I think it's a really good I want to try it out as like an eye primer or like when I use colorful eyeshadow maybe this white will make it pop I don't know I'll try it out and then lastly also from NYX I got the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in run the world and also on clearance for $3.48 and when I saw it I was like wow I've never had a purple lip product I usually mix my colors so I can get um, different colors but this I just I needed to grab and I think it would be gorgeous I, I'm super excited for this for spring also I don't know why like a dark purple I think works really nice for spring also I'll give this a try and then after Target I passed by Ulta and it's super convenient because where I go Target and Ulta are like right next to each other they're next door neighbors and that's super convenient it's either super convenient or really dangerous if you spend a lot and if you can't control yourself like me but no I, I'm getting better at controlling myself I promise I promise I am getting better maybe Anywho, I did have a gift card, so I did have to use it, and there was some things that I've been wanting to pick up from Ulta for a long time, so let's begin with that. I walked around, and I've been wanting to get a toner or a, some kind of serum or something for my skin, but I ended up with a toner, and I got this from Botanics Albright with Hibiscus Cleansing Toner for all skin types. I used to use Witch Hazel, um, like that one from Walmart, just, it just says Witch Hazel the bottle, but I don't use it anymore because I ran out of it and I never went back to get it. Like that I liked, I liked as a toner, it did work really nice, but I wanted to try out something new and this was only like about 6 or $7, so I was like, why not? It just, it caught my attention maybe because of the color, because it's pink and I love pink, it's my favorite color, so maybe that, maybe that was what caught my eye, I don't know. Then, I also got this! It's the Flawless Facial Hair Remover, and if you guys don't know, I do wax. I do um, use the Nat Strips to wax like my mustache and my sideburns, but I don't know if you can tell, but I have a lot of super tiny hairs like right along here, like where the highlight goes, and it, it, it's always bothered me. Like my whole life, it's bothered me, and I don't wax there because it's just too close to my eye, and I don't not that I don't trust myself but it's really sensitive and I just I'm scared to be waxing myself that close to my eye and also like here like in between the eyebrow and hairline like here like in this little spot I have little tiny hairs that I've never liked um so I'm a hairy beast I just need to get rid of those there are Ulta they have this one that's facial hair remover they have one that's for the whole body like for the legs and arms that's like with the four um, heads like of these and then they have one that's specifically for eyebrows but I've got this for the facial hair remover and we'll see how it works I gotta get my face nice and hairless for the wedding day you know speaking of preparing for the wedding day I have two more things that I picked up from Ulta that I hope will uh, help me in this journey I've heard lots of good things about this this is the Mario Badescu Badescu that's how you say it um drying lotion it is pricey um it hurt my soul to get it but <laughs> whatever I have to stop being so cheap you can see it's like separated it has like the liquidy stuff on the top and then has the pink sediment on the bottom do not shake the bottle it says on the directions do not shake so do not shake all you do is you get a cotton swab and you dip it all the way in down to the bottom till it picks up the pink sediment and then you just pull it out and then you dab it directly on whatever pimples you have it is a glass bottle but I think it is worth it and why not why not why not I say that for everything why not why not and that's when we go broke and then last thing I've been hearing so many good reviews on this and again wedding day is coming up I want my makeup to last all day all night through the sweat through the tears through oh I don't know what else might happen, but I got this Urban Decay setting spray, um, the all-nighter pollution protection. Urban Decay has uh, like the D-Slick, 
the all nighter, the original, then there's this all nighter pollution protection, then they have like a setting spray or no priming spray, I guess. I don't know. They have a whole bunch of sprays, but I decided to pick up this one specifically for me. It says it's supposed to last up to 16 hours. It's lightweight. It says, um, besides just making your makeup last, it helps protect against oxidation due to pollution and it guards against whatever the day throws at you. So yes, uh -huh. yes. So that was all for my Target and Ulta haul. Again, it was my first one and I was super excited to share with all of you what I got. If you want to hear any reviews on any specific item or product that you saw, um, I can make an individual video for that. If you like, just let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like if you wish. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!